Seven for 19, 177 yards through the air, two touchdowns for the signal caller for the Buckeyes, but he really did the damage on the ground. 24 carries for the QB, 104 yards, three touchdowns. Garrett Steen, who played less than one half of football due to a lopsided score, completed 13 of 18 passes for 283 yards and three scores. For the Buckeyes, it all starts and it all ends with the quarterback, Kellen Garenstein. And if the Buckeyes can keep Garenstein's jersey clean this afternoon, they have got an excellent chance to repeat as national champions. And so priority number one is protect the quarterback for the Buckeyes. Snap, now he's gonna look, now he's gonna take off. Keeper, here he goes. Cross the 25, skirts across the 20, eludes another tackle, spins free, across the 10, can he go? He is in! Touchdown, Ohio State! And Kellen Garenston, a magician all the way home! He's the real deal. Uh, he's not only a passing threat, but he's definitely, definitely got some wheels. He's got feet. He, oh, he's got, he's got some feet, yeah. Um, yeah, I saw some film on him against Oakland. And uh, he got the outside. It was only about a 22, 20 to 22 yard run. But let me tell you, this guy, he's got some wheels. Electric? Yeah, for sure. For the Buckeyes, the day belong to them. Kellen Garenston, uh, he is the. Uh, Marquee man, big ticket taker, quarterback of the Buckeyes. LNG, KG4. Put that shit down for the first step. Fuck they hope, but whatever chance they think they have, it will be this game. Uh oh, uh oh. He got a free. Oh my gosh, he had four in the backfield. He had to head him down, but he stayed up and he runs in for a touchdown. They had him on the 34 yard. Senior quarterback there for Ohio State. Um, he, he was you know, former former offensive player of the year for um, for the in the NCFA in 2019, and he he really did a great job again uh, this year. And just in this game in particular, he was definitely he's the clubhouse leader for them, and he he showed it on the field. I mean, he he led his guys, he led the group, and all in all, offensively, he was he was fantastic. Uh, as we had in the graphic there, passing wise, he had 195 passing yards in that game with two touchdowns, and then rushing, he ran the ball for 135 yards and three touchdowns, really just leading the way um, as he was responsible for um, pretty much every score in that game for Ohio State in some way, shape, or form. So um, definitely deserved it. Um, like I said, clubhouse leader, and he's, he's just phenomenal um, from start to finish in that game. He came prepared, he came hungry, and he, he, he showed in the field. So uh, congratulations to Kellen. Um, you know, great player, great guy, and, you know, overall really just help Ohio State propel themselves to that next level again this year. Yeah, we talked about uh, Kellen uh, getting MVP, you know, his second really, you know, we had the, the 2020 was off because of COVID, you guys won the title in uh, 19, and, and Kellen was the, the MVP of that uh, that effort as well. Um, what, what does it mean to a coaching staff to be able to have that kind of talent uh, calling the plays, taking the snaps uh, for a team that can repeat as champions? Well, obviously, he's one of the best kids um, in, in terms of talent, I think, that we've ever seen in this league. But he's, for as great of a player as he is, he's even a better person. Um, he's an unbelievable leader for our program. Um, you know, emotionally, he's, all, he's always in the middle of the huddle, um, calming guys down when things go bad, hyping them up when things are going well. Um, he's just the kind of guy you want leading your program and, you know, putting the ball in his hands um, in big games, just like that one. And um, I thought for the most part, he played extremely well, um, especially, you know, on his feet, you know, um, 
George Mason, you know, play a great game, especially in the secondary, trying to you know, play man coverage, take away our our passing threat. But we made, I thought, just enough plays through the air. Not we weren't particularly efficient, but I thought in terms of when we needed when we needed a big play, Kellen uh, came through. And this game. Uh, he picked it up back in 19. He picks it up again here. Again, his final stat line for the Ohio State quarterback. And uh, we mentioned it in halftime, but just an elusive player on the field. Very dynamic. Can do a lot of different things. 